Finally, I can do an experiment and cross Mikey and JJ into one person. Now all I have to do is press the button. The experiment has begun. If I succeed, I will get into history. I hope it works out while it's going well. The transformation has already begun. Now we just have to wait. Now you have to wait for the most important thing. You have to, until all the parts of the body are united. I think it all worked out. It's incredible. I was able to combine two people in one. Take your time. The experiment went well. You'll need some time to fully recover. Come and see yourself in the mirror. Hmm. It's so weird. I can't see you twice. It's so weird. Wait for my body now two heads? Don't tell me I have four hands. Hmm. How good it is to have two hands. To be honest, I'm not used to walking yet. It's a very strange feeling. Look in the mirror. Only I ask you not to be frightened. The experiment was successful. I was able to connect two bodies in one. Here's your gold as we speak. It's been a pleasure working with you. If you have any questions, you can come here at any time. Now we are one super person. Woohoo! As I understand, Mikey, we are now faster and stronger than the usual villagers. That is, we have the strength of two. We need to test our strength in real conditions. Hmm. I think I've seen zombies now, so let's try our strength on him. Huh? I don't want to fight zombies. Why do we have to do this? We don't even have weapons. Don't worry, I can beat this zombie. Don't forget that this is my body, and I decide what we do. Huh? Hey, what's going on? Stop taking control of the body. It's my body too, Mikey. Stop messing with me, Mikey. You're just messing with me. <laughs> if you hadn't been taking control every minute, we'd have beaten that zombie by now. I said, we're not going to fight this zombie. Stop taking control of my body. You're the one who wanted to see what we're capable of. Huh? This is my body, not yours. And it's gonna be like I said. If I say we won't fight, then we won't. All right, Mikey. Let's at least climb that tree. Yep. And don't forget it's not your body, so we're both controlling this torso. Hmm. You can't do that and stop talking about it. Hmm. If you say that, I'll take control. You said you wanted to test our new body, too, and then you changed your mind. Let's not say it's my body anymore, and you won't say you'll take control. Uh. Okay, what are we going to do next? I just have a few ideas of what we can do. Well, I agree. I like your idea. Let's then think first and then do so that the story does not repeat itself as with zombies. <laughs> when you change your mind during the fight, well, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Let's get a tree now. We really need wood now. Yep. We will need logs very much. I generally want to build a house or a cottage short or large house. Hmm. Honestly, I'm really hungry, so let's look for berries or watermelon. Let's make a wooden sword and kill the zombies. Yep. Now I totally agree with you. I love your idea. <laughs> because going after a zombie without a weapon is a very bad idea. But now that we have a sword, we can easily win. Great, I made a sword. So now you need to jump down. The zombies were somewhere here. I can even hear his footsteps. Hmm. I see zombies. Now all we have to do is beat him, because we're getting somewhere. Ouch! This zombie is stronger than the rest. <laughs> we could eat rotten flesh, but we'd better find something more edible. Maybe we can find a cow or a pig, and then we can eat properly. <laughs> I think we haven't become twice as powerful. I thought that when we unite, we will become stronger. But apparently, our powers have remained at the same level. At least we have two heads, so we are smarter. Hmm. Honestly, I'm pretty hungry too. So let's find some food fast. Maybe we can find a cow or a pig, and then we can eat properly. I think I hear a cow and a pig. Hmm. No, I don't want us to kill that pig. She didn't do anything to us. I'm sorry, JJ. But I will take control of the body if you don't give it to me. What are you doing, Mikey? JJ was right. We need to eat. There was no one here but cows and pigs, so the choice is not... Why did you do this, Mikey? Oh. You and I agreed that we do everything in a place. Oh. And you did what you did. You knocked me out to take control. Do you have any excuse? I'm sorry, JJ. I just didn't want to kill animals. Hmm. But then I realized you were right. I myself later killed a pig because there was no other food. I will not do it again, or at least I will think first and then do it. Listen, what are we going to do next? We had a little snack, but I'm still very hungry like you. Huh? I almost got to the apple. Still, we need to find food. We could grow wheat, but we couldn't grow it in a couple of hours. 
of course you can continue to eat apples, but for a long time, we will not work this way. Hmm. I realize that we have a double hunger, so it is much harder to eat. Yep. Maybe kill the cow and take the meat from it, but for now, I have no other ideas. Hmm. Well, we don't have a problem with food yet, so that's not a problem. Hmm. I think you're right, Mikey. So far, we have no problem with the food, but it is better to prepare ahead of time. Hmm. Let's take a good look around the area. Maybe we'll find something interesting. In fact, we just built a house in an unknown place. We should have at least seen it here first. Listen, you see it? It's lava! It's strange I thought lava could be found deep underground. Careful, Mikey, we're going to fall. <laughs> I told you not to come any closer. We need to get out. It's a good thing I had time to get over the edge. You saved us, JJ. You were right not to come close to the cliff. What's that sound? That magma cube, what is he doing here? Hmm. Magma cube lives only in hell what he does in the upper world. It seems he is moving towards our house. We need to leave him. Hmm. Look, JJ, I'm not gonna stand in your way this time, but I'm asking you in return to beat this magma cube. But I'm asking you, don't kill us both. Hmm. For now, we need to get all the items out of the house. I suggest you hide underground because we can't beat the magma cube now. Hmm. If we had armor, then we'd have a chance. And remember, Mikey, you promised you'd stay out of my way. I hope you keep your word. Well, if I honestly don't like that we're running away, but I understand that we can't beat the magma cube at the moment. You can go down to the cave to make armor and then attack the magma cube. Although I said I won't interfere anymore, so do what you want. So I don't care, but I'm asking you not to kill us. Look, if I were you, I'd go look for a cave, and you decided to dig under you, hoping you'd find a cave. And if there is lava under us, the first rule of Minecraft cannot dig under itself. Listen, Mikey, usually the lava is deep underground, so I think you're worrying for nothing. I think you're going a little bit, and we're going to get to the cave. Great, now we're in a cave, so I told you, Mikey, there'd be no lava. Okay, we need to set up a craft table and make a stone sword so we can defend ourselves against the monsters. What? Wait, JJ, why do we need a sword? We need a pickaxe so we can get the nexus. Why do you need this sword? It's just illogical. You're the one who told me you wouldn't interfere. So stay out of it, Mikey. Now you want to take control of your body. You think with your head what happens if a zombie comes to us. How can you beat him? Without the sword, we can't survive. The more after I make the sword, I make the pickaxe. Hmm. Let's find some useful resources first, and then I'll make a pickaxe. <laughs> we need to see this cave. Maybe I can find diamonds here, although it's unlikely. Look, how do you think we're gonna find iron here? Honestly, I don't have a good feeling. Look, JJ, it's iron. We can make iron armor. And there's a skeleton here, so I admit I should have made the sword first. I'm glad you admitted my idea was right, but first he has to beat this skeleton. And this skeleton is stronger than a skeleton. The first thing you need is a better sword. Great, you need to be careful here. There may be more monsters or even creepers. So if you see anyone, just tell me. How many resources here? We can make not just iron armor, but reinforced armor. It will be very strong. Hmm. How do you think the magma cube is already gone? I still don't understand what he was doing in the upper world. Are you kidding me, JJ? Did you really think about leaving this cave? It is illogical. There are so many resources that we can make not just iron armor, but also diamond, especially since we need armor very much. Hmm, I think he's already gone, so we can go back to the surface. Although we have already descended into the cave, let's get the resources here. Well, we certainly have enough resources to make iron armor. Maybe if we find diamonds, we can make diamond tools. And if there are resources that can make diamond armor. Listen, this is a cave very long. I thought it would be very what? Do you think maybe we can find the mine? Hmm, by the way, I just noticed there's a lot of coal here and we need it so we can power the ovens and melt the iron. By the way, I also noticed that in this cave is very bright. Hmm. By the way, you're right. I just noticed that the cave is bright. If you hadn't told me, I wouldn't have noticed it myself. So from the grate, we have a lot of iron. I think the armor should be enough for us. By the way, we are running out of food. We still needed to prepare food in advance. I think it's because of the green crystals, but at least it's the only explanation I could think of. All right, we're finding more iron. <laughs> well, I knew you'd
could make good armor. Listen, we were able to make armor, not just from iron, but we could make it even stronger. I really like the armor. You see this, Mikey? Yep. Here are the diamonds. We were able to find our first diamonds. Now we can make ourselves diamond tools. But first, we have to get all the diamonds that are here. Usually, there are eight diamonds in one place. So we have enough for a diamond pickaxe and a sword. <laughs> I see more diamonds, so I need to take them for myself. I wonder how many diamonds I can mine in here. Hey, Mikey, don't you want to make a diamond tool, like a pickaxe and a sword? I just don't understand why you don't like my idea. So tell me, I'm very interested in your opinion. I believe the first thing to do is not make diamond equipment, but diamond armor. We already have iron tools. I want to throw ender pearl that way because I don't have any more stone for the bridge. It hurts a little bit. It's a good thing we're wearing armor. <laughs> Why did you do that? I didn't even get a chance to say anything. You almost got us killed, JJ. So what did you want? Okay, it doesn't matter. We need to make a bucket to get the water out. Hmm. And between iron armor and diamond, very much difference. So I like your tool idea. Maybe you'll change your mind and we'll make a diamond bib. Ho <laughs> oh, great. I made a bucket. Now we just have to scoop water into this bucket. And we won't make diamond armor. We just don't need it. I'm very good at fighting. Why do I need armor when I want a sword more? That's it. Do what you want, JJ, but I think the armor will be more useful to us. Hmm. Look, I was thinking, why are we arguing about what we're gonna do? When we get the diamonds, then we'll argue, especially if you want to make a sword, but I think it's more useful to make a bib. Let's get the diamonds we need first. Look what a huge cave. How do you think our house that we built out of planks is still standing still? I think it has already been allowed by the magma coop. Ho oh, ho! Do you really think about Magma Cube? I think he's long dead. I generally think that we went to the cave in vain. We would die quietly, stay in the house, and no one would touch us. So stop thinking about this, Mikey. Oh! By the way, I wonder how much time we've spent here. We seem to have gone by tonight. By the way, Mikey, I've been thinking about your diamond armor idea. Even though I want to make a sword pickaxe, Let's make a diamond armor. I think we're gonna need it. Great! I knew you'd make the right choice. Let's go faster. Let's find the craft table and make a diamond workbench. All right, here comes the craft table. Wait, Mikey, where you saw the craft table? There's nothing here. Well, let's make it easier. Great, let's make some armor then. Now we'll have a diamond bib. Listen, Mikey, I've been thinking. Even though I said it was okay if we made some armor, but I changed my mind, so we're gonna make some diamond tools. Come on. We don't need any useless armor. Let's have some diamond tools. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing, JJ? <laughs> so don't bother me and let me make a weapon. I'm almost done. I told you not to bother me, but stop taking control. You said you wouldn't do it again. <laughs> I made it so I can make armor. I mean, JJ, we really don't need a sword and armor will be useful. Look, let's get out of this cave because we can sit here all day, but that doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. Wait, Mikey, we still need a diamond sword. Let's walk around the cave. Maybe we can find more diamonds. I just have really good warning cards. The mine is very long, who knows? Maybe we can find the diamonds right around the bend. So let's wait a while and look for the diamonds. Let's see if we can get some iron in here too. Ho <laughs> ho! Hmm. You guys sure this map leads to treasure? I don't really trust cards. They can write anything on them. <laughs> now we have enough diamonds to make a sword. Did you hear JJ say when the bandits ran by us? Yes, I heard, Mikey. Then let's do the sword and run after them. If all they said is true, then we will get rich. They said they had a treasure map. Let's take that map away from them. They still stole it somewhere, especially now we are invincible. Listen, are you sure that these treasures are somewhere here? It seems to me that we are just going the wrong way. I hope that the treasure there will be very much. Ho <laughs> ho, how powerful is this sword? Now I will deal with this bandit. Great, so now let's see this treasure map. I hope the treasure is somewhere close because honestly, I'm a little tired. Hmm. It's like we're a treasure so close, but we have to get to the surface. If this map is correct, then there is a mountain near the village and somewhere on the mountain, there will be treasure. By the way, it turns out that we are practically under the village. That is, above us, there is a whole village. Come, I think I know where the exit is. How lucky we are to have found the treasure map. Can you imagine how lucky we are to have the bandits around us? Okay, it doesn't matter. We almost got to the surface. 
<laughs> Great! We got to the surface. What a nice fresh air! Let's buy the villagers' speed potion to get to the treasure faster! Hey, villagers. Wait, we want to buy you a speed potion. We have diamonds, so what say you sell us it? I have a speed potion, but it's very expensive. You're lucky because I'm the only villager in the village who has this potion. Only two diamonds, and the potion is yours. The right choice! Just drink it and you can run wherever you want very quickly. Ho <laughs> ho! All right, run, JJ. I think with this potion, we can make it to the treasure by morning. Honestly, I thought the mountain was closer, but it's not as close as I thought. All right, let's hurry up. The sooner we get there, the sooner we get the treasure. I started to think here, but right that we will come to this mountain and the treasure will not be there. Hmm, kind of like we came. The treasure should be here. I think the treasure is underground. Let's try. <laughs> you see this, JJ? There's treasure. Now we're rich. <laughs> now we can buy everything we want. How much there is treasure here? I thought there would be a small treasure chest, and there's a mountain of treasure. 